All right, welcome back to Father and Son Investing. This video is going to cover Matterport and its near-term events and how that may affect the stock price. This is These are events that I'm talking about within the next six weeks or so. The first event I'm going to talk about is the Axis launch. If you're not familiar with what Axis is, this is it. This little device here will hold a smartphone, and that can be an Android phone or, of course, an iPhone. And this device then will allow a user to professionally capture a space. In the past, a user would have had to hold their phone and then rotate their own body around in a circle, which obviously is not going to be as precise as letting an electronic device do this. Well, how is this going to work? This actually is quite simple. The user will mount their phone within the device. They will line up the wide-angle lens with this part of the Axis device, and then this will sync to the app within the phone. Then it requires pushing one button and letting the device go ahead and do its thing. This essentially is what it will look like. As it spins around, it will capture the room. Of course, because of the vast data library that Matterport has already accumulated from previous scans and using AI, these smartphones are capable with the app of performing precise measurements we're talking about down into the millimeters range. When will this device be launched? Well, actually, it will be officially launched April 1st, so next week. There are already some people out there who have this device on a trial basis, but it will be available to the public April 1st. They actually have pre-orders available now. They actually have the pre-order price available till April 4th, which isn't totally a pre-order if it's available April 1st, but nevertheless, if you purchase this before April 4th, you're going to get a discount of $20 on either the Axis with a carry case or the Axis and a tripod with a carry case. The one that I'm actually interested in is the Axis Starter Bundle, which not only gives you all of the previous things I mentioned, but also a license or a subscription, actually, because it's a 12-month plan to scan five spaces and have two users. So that is item number one for the near term. How much will that affect the stock price? Well, it may get a little bit of a bump because, of course, there will be some news as that comes out and there will probably be some follow-up news as other people start incorporating this into their businesses or even for use in their homes. But I don't expect it to be a long-lived bump. I think we're talking about a few days and then back to its previous stock price. What else is coming in the near term? Well, of course, the first quarter results will be coming out. Of course, the first quarter ends next week as well. The expected date for the first quarter results is May 4th, but of course, they have not officially announced that yet. They're expecting a loss per share in the 13 to 15 cent range and revenue in millions of 25.5 to 27.5. If you use the Yahoo Finance page under analysis, you can see what is going on in terms of analysts and what they're expecting as well. Now we can see that the analysts are expecting more in the lower end of that range for earnings per share of a 13 cent loss rather than the 15 cent loss. And we can also see that analysts are expecting sort of in the middle range, a little bit more than the middle when it comes to revenue. I'll turn to one other source here, and that will be the Credit Suisse report that just came out on the 24th of March. This is their deep dive into Matterport stock, and they have similar numbers here. The consensus they're showing at $26.8 million. They also let us know what the subscription revenue uh, is expected to be, and they're coming at $17 million, which is a little less than what the company estimated. Now, why am I going over this? Well, Matterport already told us that their revenue growth rate was going to slow down. And they attributed much of that to problems getting parts for their cameras, which they sell. Now, of course, the selling of their cameras makes up a rather small percent of their overall revenue. In fact, we'll also see that there's rather anemic growth here when it comes to their annual recurring revenue. At least that's what's expected for the first two quarters of this year. Now, I'm going over this because I think that there may be a buying opportunity when this first quarter result comes out. They've already said that these expectations are low, so if they meet these low expectations, I think that the stock price may drop. Of course, if they miss on the analyst expectations, the stock price is going to drop. Really, the only way I see the stock price going up much after this first quarter result is if they just blow the earnings out of the water, which I certainly am not expecting, and I think 
Everyone else who's investing in Matterport is not expecting that. Just keep in mind that the big revenue expectations for Matterport are going to be during the latter half of the year, especially the fourth quarter is when the year-over-year -year sales growth is really expected to kick in. All right, the third and last thing that I want to cover for this video in terms of near-term expectations has to do with analysts. Now, I mentioned earlier that Credit Suisse did their recent report on the 24th of March, so this is as fresh as it gets in terms of analysts. But let's just take a peek at what the other dates on the most recent analyst reports have been. So the Piper Sandler analyst report is fairly recent. That's from February, as well as the Deutsche Bank. But some of the others are actually rather old. Dan Ives, who's with Wedbush and is quite bullish on Matterport, did his last report in November of 2021. And we're also looking at the Loop Capital report from August of 2021 and Berenberg from September of 2021. So we have at least three analysts who have rather old or outdated analyst reports. I would not be surprised if some of these get updated in the near term, which may affect the stock price as well. If you look at the stock chart for the last five days, you'll remember that the Credit Suisse report came out on the 24th and on the 25th, the stock price took a tumble. Do not be surprised then if the additional three analysts issue their reports and the stock price also takes a tumble. I went ahead and bought a little more yesterday with this price drop. I will be waiting for any additional analyst reports to come out or, of course, that first quarter earnings report to come out where I think there may be additional declines in the stock price. So that is what I have for you today in terms of the near term. We have the Axis launch next week. We have the expected May 4th first quarter earnings report. Of course, that has not been officially announced in that date will change probably a little bit, but expect it somewhere in that time. And then I think that we may be seeing some additional analyst reports coming out, which certainly can affect the stock price significantly, as we saw with yesterday's stock price decline. Share this information, please, with a young person in your life. Help them along the way in the path to investing. If this was useful for you, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. And of course, as always, until next time, enjoy your investing.